new videos every day. Hey everyone, we're starting a new channel. So if you're interested in seeing part two of this video or any other videos that I've done, what you need to do is you need to go down, click on the link, and subscribe to the new channel. Ahoy there, you scurvy dogs. Today we're going to be doing fun facts about pirates. Get ready to walk the plank. When you think of pirates, you probably think of ruthless and unorderly men. However, pirates were very democratic. In fact, each crew member got to vote on where the ship was going to go next and if a colonial ship was going to be attacked. Pieces of eight were actually silver coins, while the doubloon was a gold coin. Each pirate received an equal share of the booty, with a double share going to the captain, the pilot, the carpenter, and the cook, and a share set aside for maintenance. Now, isn't that interesting that the captain and the cook got paid the same amount? Pirates were very superstitious. They believed that if you whistled on board of a ship, it could cause the weather to become very stormy. This is where we got the expression to whistle up a storm. Pirates were paid very well. In fact, they were paid so well that they made about four times more money than they would have if they were merchants or naval men. However, if no booty was captured, then no one got paid. When you think of pirates, you usually think of pirates in the past. However, believe it or not, there's still pirating going on today. Every year, between 13 and 16 billion dollars is stolen due to pirating. Now, pirates don't use swords anymore. They use guns. Another thing that you might see in the movies that's not very accurate is the captain's quarters. In the movies, you might have the captain in there alone or with a couple other people eating dinner. It's a very private place. Well, that's not true. The captain's den was open for everyone to use. Um, it was kind of a hangout spot. If you were a privateer, as opposed to a pirate, and you were captured, you were not considered a criminal. You were considered a prisoner of war. They would take these ships that were deemed unseaworthy and change them into jails. They called them hulks. So they would take you and put you into these ships, which were usually disease-ridden and dirty. Each pirate ship had their own unique flag. For instance, the famous Skull and Crosswords flag belonged to a pirate named Calico Jack. What did pirates eat? For meat, pirates would eat turtles. Why? Because they were easy to catch and pretty abundant. And they considered them to be quite tasty. The pirate captain wasn't exactly the captain. He led the battles and he led the raids. However, the person who actually captained the ship was the pilot. Pirates are often depicted as having a peg leg. Now, it's not as common as you might think for a pirate to have a peg leg. After all, imagine trying to have a sword fight with a peg leg. But that's because of one famous pirate, Blackbeard. He had a peg leg. Not for the reasons you might think. He did not lose his leg in battle. He lost his leg due to a complication with diabetes. In a future video, we're going to be doing interesting facts about pigs. Now, I actually have a pet potbelly pig. His name is Piggins, so you're going to be able to meet him. And in another future video, we're going to be doing interesting facts about the human eye. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Please rate my video, and I'll see you next time. You were not a criminal. You were a prisonal, prisonal. You were a prisoner. I don't like it in my eye. It's it's like right on my eye. It hurts. Can you tell that it's on my eye? Each pirate ship had their own unique pirate fag. For instance, fag. <laughs> Did I say fag? <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Okay. <clears throat> We're starting a new channel, so if you want to check it out, click on me. No, really, click on me. Click on me now. Come on, you know you want to subscribe? Click on me. Thank <laughs> you.